Hello and welcome back. In this video, we'll review Rust latest stable release, Rust 1.92.0. Rust 1.92 continues evolving the language with improvements focused on type safety, diagnostics, and better compile time behavior as we discuss the last release of 2025. And as always in my release review videos, we'll not just go through the doc, instead, we'll try out some new changes. And experience the behavior. So, without further ado, let's dive into it and let's start. So, the first change that we have is deny by default never type lints. Never type is a very interesting concept which we have covered previously on this channel. If you are new to the channel or you don't know much about never type, there is a video popping on your right top. I highly recommend check it out. So, there are some patterns that are now deny by default in never type. Obviously, you can allow them. But the end goal is uh, basically for the eventual full stabilization of never type, improving how such code behaves. So basically, with this new lint improvement, you get your compiler detecting and yelling at you what code patterns can reach to unreachable code and should be a problem. And the second change we have is around the linter again, which is unused, must use, no longer warns about uninhabitable type. Let's understand with an example. So right here we have some piece of code and if you run it on any prior version of rust 1.92 this code will give you a warning because we are only returning okay and we are only handling for that and inf label is basically a alias for never type and never type is something which we have discussed already so if i run this code as you can see we don't get any error but on the prior versions we do see an error of not handling properly the result type and why does this work this is because you know never type just converts to the original type that you are returning again we have covered it in a video in detail so do check it out so this is all about the change that is basically done as part of uh, the second change that we have the next change that we have is basically to improve your overall troubleshooting experience emit unwind tables even when panic abort is enabled on linux Basically, in Rust 192, unwind tables will be emitted by default even when panic abort is specified, allowing for backtraces to work pro properly. Now, if you want to opt out, obviously, the, there is a way for that, but this basically helps you get the detailed backtraces so you can understand where things start going wrong for your code. So, the last change that we have is another linter improvement, which is basically increasing the strictness for macro export attribute by upgrading argument validation to deny by default. Now this change provides more consistent error reporting and ensures that invalid arguments to the attribute are caught even when they appear in dependencies. So basically all the major changes for Rust 192 are improvements in linter and then we have some stabilized APIs as always we get in the cons context as well as in the normal context. So yeah, do try it out on your end and let me know which stabilized APIs is something that you would want to use. I won't recommend the change set is, I would say, uh, large enough that you sh definitely should upgrade. But again, if you want to just simply run this command in your terminal, rust up update stable and you will get your latest rust192.0. So that's it. Thank you.